Hi everybody, I'm Jessie and I am so excited that you can join me today for this really fun bat project. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to build our bat wings. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to take a piece of purple construction paper and we're going to fold it right in half. Just like that, okay? And what we're going to do is we are actually going to trace our hands and that's going to be our bat's wings. So I'm going to put this part of my hand right here on the fold. And as you can tell, my fingers are a little big, but that's okay. I'll make it work. And I'm gonna take a Sharpie or a pencil and I'm just gonna go ahead and trace my hand as best as I can. Perfect. Now, you might be wondering, why did we fold the paper? That's easy. We folded the paper so we only had to trace our hand once and cut once. All right, so what I'm gonna do because my hand went off the paper, is I'm actually gonna just kinda cut in just a little bit smaller than the line that I traced. But go ahead and cut out your hand on the line. All right, open up your wings. And that is gonna be our wings for our bat. Now our bat is gonna need a body. So using another piece of purple, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it just like this. I'm not gonna fold it up all the way, just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the body. So what I want the body to look like is kinda like a big oval. So I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna go I'm just gonna draw half an oval shape. Just like that. And then go ahead and cut it out. Next, let's go ahead and cut out the head. Now, my bat's head is gonna be round, but I wanna go ahead and add in his ears. So again, I'm gonna fold my paper, and I'm gonna draw out the shape that I wanna make. So I'm gonna start with the top of his head, just like that, add in an ear, and then finish it out, making it almost into a circle. All right, I'm all done with my purple paper. Next, we're gonna use the black to give our bat some accents. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my purple body and I'm gonna give him a belly using the black. And all I'm gonna do is fold my paper and I'm gonna have some fun. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of fur, give him a little bit of a roundness to him. You can make your bat accents however you want because every bat is totally different and unique and that's what's really cool about this project is you can make yours look amazing just the way you want it to. So I'm just going to come in and kind of free cut. Perfect! It fits inside my purple circle. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. Next, I'm gonna add in some pieces to the face. So I wanna give him some black inside ears and I think I wanna give him a little black nose. So I'm just gonna come in, create two small black circles and a black nose. Okay, once you have your pieces cut, go ahead and glue them down onto your bat face. Next, we're gonna add in a smile and eyes, and I'm gonna use white construction paper to start that off. Now, my eyes are gonna be small ovals, and then my mouth is just gonna be a line with two little fangs sticking out. So I'm gonna start by doing the eyes. And again, I'm gonna use that fold technique. That way, I only have to cut once. Go ahead and glue those down. Next, I'm gonna do the smile. 
and you can make your smile your mouth however you want if you want a grumpy bat you can give them a grumpy smile if you want a happy bat like mine give them a happy smile Okay, see if the glue is dry on your eyes. And if it is, you can use a black marker to go ahead and draw the pupils of your bat's eyes. I'm gonna give him some eyebrows, just like that. All right, now we get to start assembly. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my head on my body. And so I'm just gonna come in using some glue. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and glue his wings on. Now comes the fun part. You can decide which way you want your wings to go. They can go like that or flip them around and point your thumbs down. I think I like my bat looking like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a lot of glue because I want my bat to keep his wings. And there you have it, a really cute bat that will make any space ready for Halloween. I hope you guys had fun making him. I know I did and I can't wait to see your guys's. So until next time guys, happy October, bye.